Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this video we will continue by learning how to program with Fazlino and particularly we're going to learn how to blink LEDs. So, uh, the outline of the presentation will include three exercises, three very basic exercises about how to uh, set an LED and how to make it blink. In this first exercise, uh, the idea or the task is to just simply to set us uh, on uh, an LED which is connected to pin D12 on the Arduino Euro. And uh, we have to do that only at the startup, at the beginning. And for that we use the instruction, I mean to set an LED, we use the instruction and write digital because uh, the LED is a, a digital component that will be set to high or low depending on um, its state. And here we have to select the pin number. So let me see a uh, live demo uh, using, in this case, Tinkercad simulator, how this uh, code works. Uh, as you can see, in, the, in this case, we are have uploaded exactly the same code here as before. And if we, let me zoom, uh, if we start the simulator, the LED, which is connected uh, to, uh, to the Arduino, uh, to pin number 12, then it's set as on because uh, we have at this, uh, when we execute the instruction, we put here 5 volts that will go through the resistor and then drive the enough current to the LED so it gets uh, on. So let me uh, show this uh, second example about how to uh, work with LEDs. Uh, the idea here is that we have a button uh, connected to pin uh, D2 and when it's not pushed uh, then the LED should be turned on but when we push it the LED should be turned off and for that we use the instruction read digital so we read from uh, the value, the signal that we uh, get uh, from the button which is connected to pin D2 and the result it's the state that we want to use uh, for our LED so we can uh, set the state, a state high or low accordingly to the state of the button. In this case the button is connected uh, through a pull-up resistor which means that when not, when not pushed we read 1 as a high. Let me show you a live demo, sorry, let me show you a live demo about uh, this exercise. So the code here, uh, we, as you can see here, we use uh, the digital write instruction and digital read instruction. And here we have the LED as before, connected to pin D12 as before, exactly as before. And connected to pin D2, we have a switch button, okay, through a resistor, so that every time we push, we read uh, a zero in this case. So when we don't push, we read 1, so that's why we, the LED is on, and when we push here the button, the LED turns off. And we, when we release the button, it turns on again. So let me return back to uh, these lights. And here in this last example, the idea is blinking uh, two LEDs in this case, but with the varying frequency. It's a more complex exercise, but you will understand immediately the purpose of this exercise. So the idea is that essentially we want to set one of the LEDs which is connected to pin D12 and the other, the other LED which is connected to pin D13, one of them to high and the other one to low, wait some time, so we will explain this part here later, and afterwards to toggle the state, so the one that was high now it's low and the one that was low now it's high and wait the exact amount or the, the same amount of time. So in this case we could use a fixed uh, frequency but the idea is to use the potentiometer that we have connected to pin A0. This potentiometer will return a value, remember, between 0 and 1023. So this value will be mapped map means here linear transformation, so the zero becomes, when we read the zero, it, this becomes a 100 and when, when we read this number, this becomes this number here. And these numbers are the waiting time that we want to use 
in milliseconds. So let me show you the example of this exercise. Uh, the code again is as, as shown before and uh, here we have the two LEDs one of them which is connected to pin D12 and the other one which is connected to pin the, uh, 13 the blue one it's connected to pin 13 to resistors of course and here we have the potentiometer that is connected to pin A0 so this is uh, the frequency uh, depends on the, the value of the potentiometer so if we move the wiper the frequency of the blinking LEDs slow down we can slow down almost I mean the, the, the limit was one second so it's one second and one second each but we can blink them so fast that apparently they are even always light on okay so this is how this exercise works So in this presentation I have presented some few instructions how to work with digital signals particularly in order to blink LEDs. Thank you very much.